I know I done brought you all the way out here to the West Coast. Welcome to Carmel. I'm strictly business, just like EPMD. I'm B-L-A-C-K from the CBT. Where they dip them cigarettes and PCP. And them bras, they believe in me. South C-I-B, the magnum token. Keep my enemies on IV once I toast them. Yo, you already know, man. You chilling with Mahad right now. I'm chilling with my boy, Gorilla Black. I philosophize by the brick. Man, what's good? What's good, man? It's a blessing, man. I'm out here with my boy Mahad. And yep. it's real in the field with Mahad. For all of y'all who don't know, it's a real motherfucker right now. I took him, you know what I'm saying, one of the most notorious blocks in Compton out here. We in the Palmer blocks right now. You know what I'm saying? The real herb of the herbs. A lot of these people been around me, man, for the last since I was young. So, you know what I'm saying? I've been around the same shit all my life. You know what I'm saying? I don't I know a lot of different things and, and this dude. <laughs> Right. I ain't turning down no fade yet, nigga. What I had a little homie DP. They say I'm so evil, but no, I'm so peaceful. Those of you people who don't really know, I mean, I've known these guys for for a minute now. A lot of people don't know that these guys are blood brothers. We Crip brothers. They're real. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's a beautiful thing. A lot of people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's my real biological brother, man. You know, me and him done sat down. We done we done bust pistols together, chopped dope up together, went to jail together on different shit. So you know, it, it's just it's 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 it's, it's real shit. Chilling with me, high. You know, man. <laughs> that's that the comp comp building. Yeah. Compton Court building, you know, this building right here, it ain't a good testament. You know, a lot of my comrades, you know what I'm saying, doing a lot of time in jail behind this building, you know what I'm saying? So it's it, it, it's not a it's not a positive place at all, for real though. You know? What is one of the memories you have on this place, bro, on this block? Man, I have a lot of memories, man. I mean shit, man. When we was young, man, ice cream trucks, chili cheese, fries, and coming through this motherfucker, like that, gunshots, no. all kind I remember so much different shit, man. It's just being over here, man, you could just it's like going through memory lane, man. It's real. Everybody over here like family, you know what I'm saying? It's a different it's it is it's family. So a lot of people don't really understand the concept of this shit, you know, but it's family, you know, motherfuckers been, you know, they come from, they ain't just flew up, they grew up together, you feel me? Let these people know where you been. Man, you know what, I've been for a while, man, a lot of, you know, I took a lot of, you know, a lot of shit, man, like yeah. I said, a, a lot of things came about, you know, with a lot of different people inside of the industry. You know, I just backed up off of a lot of the music, man, I backed away from, you know, a lot of different people that I was dealing with due to a lot of different circumstances, a lot of shit that was going on at the time with my label. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna take like, you know, a little bit of tour about Compton, yeah. take it back to, to when you grew up, yeah. you know, okay. we're gonna show some places that you, you know, Definitely, posted man. up. This is a real motherfucker right here. This is a real dude right here. <laughs> this is a real dude, no faking, no none of that. It's guns out here, weed out here. Everything. It's Convicted felons out here. My nigga is out here fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? None other than Gorilla B L A C K, nigga. Yep. In my high. It's my truck and spilt my hen dog. Yes, you. God bless you. I was trying to get next to you. Your homegirls was hating, but I didn't care. You said you had a man. I was like, where? It was something so different about you. I felt so gifted around you. Even though you had a man in law. So right now, you know, we're standing right uh, right in front of Compton High. This is where Gorilla Black went a few years back. Not too long ago, but Yeah, it's been a few you know been saying? it's been a few years, my high, but you know how it is, man. This is where I went to high school at. I ended up just shutting school down real early. And uh 
chasing the street life, you know what I'm saying? For real. There wasn't no money, you know. My moms, you know, was having it rough. You know what I'm saying? Really wasn't tied in like that. A lot of memories here. A lot of bad bitches. Right now, we, you know, we're about to leave Compton High right now. We're about to go to uh, check out where Gorilla Black used to live. Right here, this is Hot Dolly. He's following <laughs> us in the back, you know, making sure we're good out here. Man. Chilling with <laughs> my high. <laughs> Chilling with my high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having the time of my life, fuck the world on wheels, you. We're walking right here on Compton Boulevard, right here on Aaron B in Compton. This, this is where Gorilla Black and Hot Dollar used to live, man. Come on, let's go. Right We're gonna show you a little bit of this. We don't live here no more, but we don't know who he does, but. <laughs> I used to live upstairs there. They used to be my room right there. You know what I'm saying? They used to be Hot's room right there. See, right here, this is the alley right here. This is where a lot of history happened, some ass movements took place. This is that main alley right This is that main Compton alley Boulevard. right here, man. Like, this is it, man. Like, for real, my heart. Like, we lived here, man. This is our home. Literally, me and Hot's home. We shoot our dice right here. I used to, man, I used to sell my weed right here. This is it. This right here, we get up in the morning, come right here. Back in the day, Mr. Young owned this place right here. A lot of, you know, he was young, Korean, had an American dream, brought his story here to come. You know what I'm saying? As us being kids. We had to hit Mr. Young up a couple times. Yeah, Mr. Young. Because Mr. Young didn't want to give us no please up for free or nothing like that. End of the day, I mean, I thank God for everything. I thank God for letting me, you know, see this city and let me live to be, you know, right now to be talking. And it's a blessing you out here with us, chilling with my heart. And I, I gotta say this, I, I know a lot of shows out there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people out there doing their thing. But one thing I got to say about my heart is my heart is real. Because my heart out here right now in Compton. I'm saying they don't understand this. Me and my heart, I take them to the city of Scandalous. C-O-M-P-T-O-N. Understand, y'all just begin. <laughs> Look at the flow. And understand, I'm gonna hook it up. It's just like I'm cooking up dope and anything. <laughs> Everybody already knows. Rest in peace, big. God bless the guy. From New York. Most definitely. A lot of people compare you guys as the same artist. You know, I, I can't help who I am. Yeah. You know, as you've been with me for the last few days and just sitting down chilling with me, I can't help. God meant me to be a six foot two, real dark brother with a heavy ass voice. I can't change that. For me to say that I want to be something different, that would be saying that I regret my mama having me. So I praise God that, you know, God made me who I am. And if I sort of resemble or look or whatever to one of the greatest rappers in the game, I feel that it's more than a compliment. More than a compliment. You know, I, I know. Biggie and Pac is the holy grail of hip hop. They will always be. There will be no replacing Biggie. There will be no replacing Pac. Those are the most holiest grails. But I'm the real black. I'm the common. And that's just who I am. And I can't change who I am. When you talk about gangster rap, reality rap, West Coast, you can't go nowhere else but Compton, California. That's just that, my mom. I appreciate you coming out here, man. Definitely. This is a big part of who me and Hot is, man. It's, I mean, this is history. A lot of people don't get to see this. A lot of people don't know about this. A lot of people pass by this on the freeway on their way to their posh residence in Beverly Hills or Westwood or whatever. But this is part of our life. We can never change that. This is who we are. This is what made us and what embedded the way that we, you know, look sound and the way that we think, you know, for the rest of our entire lives is me. Tell me about the groupies, man. You know, we all we all got our stories. I want to hear your story. You know what? I, I tell you something. One of my my favorite all time stories yes. with the bitches. I was in Paris, banging this bitch. They could have a drunk looking at the Eiffel Tower. It will always stick to me in most memorable of all my groupie fucks ever, ever, ever. That's but it. this is like number one because at the moment I'm fucking her and I'm thinking in my mind like, damn, who would ever thought I would have came from where we've been today, Compton, California, eating chili cheese fries with a curl and a khaki suit, out here selling dope on Orlando, to being in an Eiffel Tower about what is it, eight floors up with the balcony open, fucking this bitch, speaking a foreign language. Looking at the Eiffel Tower lights. Oh! <laughs> Hey yo, I'm taking my ah! Paris. Maddie, 
And I want to say something to all of you out there. I have been with Mahad for the past few days. And it's nothing bigger than Mahad and the bitches. The bitches and Mahad. Mahad and the bitches. Chilling with Mahad. Shit. Send me to the county, to the dorm where I can play a sick Watching big screens, taking showers on the floor